Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So right here, I got my own custom Razer Orochi V2. And I'm actually modeling it after Zero Two. So let's get straight into the video. Since the Razer Orochi V2 just came out and is the first Razer mouse that you can personally customize, I thought it would be a good idea to do so. There are numerous different designs on the website from different creators, influencers, artists, and some community designs as well. For my mouse though, I decided to go with the custom route. There are a lot of things you can customize, but unfortunately, you cannot upload designs or use your own images. This wasn't too big an issue for me though. When you are designing the mouse, you can layer different colors, choose different patterns, add different effects, and finally add your own personal gamer tag. I went into Photoshop and came up with a lot of different designs to get the colors right and just get what I wanted. Now how will I add my own image? For that, all I had to do was order some custom stickers. I designed the sticker in Photoshop and bought them from StickerU.com. The mouse comes in pretty simple packaging. Open the box and lo and behold you have some stickers, paperwork, and it also comes with a long lasting battery so you don't have to go out and buy any, which is also a nice touch. I did design this mouse after the anime character Zero Two, and overall I think it turned out pretty good. I chose a white to red gradient for the mouse shell with a white line design towards the bottom. The left pointer button has Tech Vision HD written on it. Towards the bottom, I have a custom Zero Two sticker that I ordered. The sticker was definitely a hassle to put on. I had to use a hairdryer to stretch the sticker so it would go into place, especially since the mouse has a pretty aggressive curve. This mouse supports all grip types and personally, if you've watched some of my other mouse videos, then you would know that I use claw grip. Personally, I do think this mouse is good for claw gripping, but I think my old mouse, the MM711, does a better job at it. The mouse is just a little bit too small for me to rest my palm on the hump of the mouse, whereas I could do that on the MM711. I have more of a fingertip claw grip hybrid on this mouse. It doesn't really limit or affect my ability to play games or anything, I just wanted to throw that out there. Here's some quick specs for the mouse. The Orochi is completely wireless with two modes, Bluetooth or a wireless 2.4 connection, making it perfect for on the go. The extremely responsive 5G optical sensor, second gen Razer mechanical switches, as well as a total of six programmable buttons. It comes with two slots for batteries. It can run on either AA or AAA batteries. The AAA battery does make the mouse slightly lighter, but for me, the AA battery is just fine and has overall better weight distribution. The mouse battery does last a long time, I've been using it for around a month now without even thinking of changing it out. On the website, you can personally check how long the mouse will last you with how many hours you're playing games or using it compared to not using it at all during a 24 hour basis and see how long it will last you. Here's also a quick sound test for those who wanted to hear individual buttons. This mouse is a great wireless mouse. It's super lightweight and extremely responsive. It has good build quality, good looks, and a comfortable shape. I do wish it was slightly bigger, but the small size adds to the portability and the reduced weight of the mouse. If you are someone who needs a mouse on the go or wants to customize their mouse to their liking, then this is definitely a good mouse for you. I've been really busy for a while now and wasn't able to get my hands on too much stuff to review, so sorry about being gone for so long. But anyways, thank you to everyone who supports our channel. We actually reached 500 subscribers, which is obviously halfway to a thousand, so thank you all again. I will start posting more often, so stay tuned and hit the notification icon as well. And see you guys in the next one.